expecting to build them when you walk in there for three points? Well, we, we know they're going to they're gonna be ready for us. And I expect that, you know, a, a lot of noises, pack, fans going crazy, you know, they're, they're going to respond for sure. But, uh, you know, it's part of the part of the play, part of the playoff, part of this whole series, and um, I think we actually play better on the road that we that we do at home. So I don't know. You know, it's funny, but we do it. Kyle was just saying that there's a level of camaraderie here. There's a special chemistry here that he hasn't experienced before. Yes. What, yeah. Can you just, what, what, how do you feel? Well, the reason the reason we're here right now in the playoff is just because we got one of the most healthy locker rooms. Uh, no egos at all. Everybody's just happy. If anybody does well, like yesterday, Landry Fields had a great game. I mean, I was I was more happy. Kyle, Demar, everybody was more happy about Landry stepping up and and, and doing so. You know. He did such a great job than anything else because, you know, we, we're that type of team. We care about each other on and off the court. And when we go on, on the road, we just, you know, we just guess, you know, we get each other's back. We care. We, we really care. And, and it's very natural. You know, it's not really fake or political or anything like that, which has happened a lot in this league. The reason we, we, we became a good team going on our, on our way to become a great team is just because we care. And then, you know, the chemistry is, is such a big factor in any team, and we have it. We do have it. Is that just because there's no perceived mega ego? I mean, when you look at maybe you, like the Heat or OKC, they have one, they have one guy who ever fixates on the Durant or the Braun. Well, you know, I'm not really concerned about any other teams, but uh, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's actually good not having a really super, super, superstar like that guy with a name. I mean, I, I think, you know, having Kyle and, and, and Demari, they they both superstars, but uh, they are like, like they, 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 they nobody. And that's, that's huge, you know, how humble they are, uh, especially in the locker room. They, they, you know, those, guys, those two guys give everybody so much confidence, and, uh, and that's huge. What do you think of DeRozan's face after he gets... I love it. He goes like, <laughs> I love it. I think, I think, uh, you know, he's one of the most humble guys in the in the locker room. You know, he he really deserves everything, what you know, what he gets and, and all the attention and all that stuff. Because he's he's our franchise player. He's he's uh, our best player. And um, I think for him to do what he what he did last night was was a really huge step to, to shut a lot of people out, you know, to just, you know, don't talk about me because I, I got this. And um, we want him to do what he what he did last night. We expect that. At one point this season, uh, DeMar said that he gets that on-court emotion from you. Uh, how important is that to be? We, uh, we, 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 yo, I told him before the game, I said, you're going to have a great game. I want that face. You know, I want that when you go like that and you start, you know, letting people know what's going on on the court. I just love it. I feel of that. Because uh, whenever, I don't know if you guys saw it, but yesterday when I was with him, I was just trying to fit him. I just wanted, I was just trying to give him the ball. Just, just go, go, go. You know, we need you to get confidence. And uh, one time I drove best line and I hit him and he just had a, an unbelievable dunk. I dream about those dunks because I can't even dunk. <laughs> so uh, I get fired up when he started doing that and, you know, he made that face and I just get, you know, I get myself going. How good of a, of a tough shot maker is tomorrow? Oh. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll play with two guys. Uh, Ryan Anderson made one of the toughest shots in this league, and DeMar Rosen. I, I mean, DeRozan is, uh, DeMar is just unbelievable how he makes shots. And, and, and his middle, middle, middle game, the, the middle Jays, are um, I mean, that, that right there makes him an all-star right there. He, he can make tough shots. Anybody can follow him. They still can be able to get it off and make it. And that's what we need. Like I say, I think he, he's a huge factor for us because he, he can score the basketball and he put a lot of uh, pressure on the defense. Yeah, and he's going to be contested shots, off-balance shots. Unreal. I mean, I, that's just tough shots. I mean, he got that talent to make those tough shots. And then in, in, in games like these games are huge because at any given point he can be making one of those tough shots when you say, no, nah, that's, that's not going in. Well, guess what? If he's taking a hit... It's going in. Those shots are sort of de-emphasized sometimes in today's league. But do you sort of do you need somebody to be able to hit those just to bail you out of possession sometimes? I agree. You know, it just that's his game. Uh, 
see before he was taking those shots, but it, it wasn't as good as, as it is right now. Yeah, you can say it's bad, good, bad shots, whatever it is. He's making those shots, and then as long as he's making those shots, we can say whatever we want to say. He, he, you know, he, I want him to take those shots because I know it, they're going in. That that was the main reason he was an All Star this year because he was making shots for him. he was scoring the ball, and then and he's a scorer in this league. So I love KG, man. I love you know. He, he gets a competitor. He starts talking all this trash. And, you know, I, I just who he is. You know, I grew up watching this guy. You know, I, I had a poster of him when I was younger, back in the days when I was back home. And then I, I never thought it was going to be when he was in Minnesota, wearing 21. Uh, now he, I'm playing against him. And he, that's what he does. You know, that really don't bother us. I mean, we don't want attention. We don't want to fool them with, you know, give him, give, we don't want to give them gas to, you know, really find a reason to go out there and do, and, and, and do something crazy. We just want to remain humble. You know, the trash talking is, is not really us at all. And um, we, we do play like we don't like those guys. And, and there's no reason we need to like those guys. You know, we got to play pissed off. We, we got to understand that this is our life. And then uh, he he gets that too. That's why he's so competitive. So we're not really worried about any of that, man. Do you have a trash talker? Who's the best trash talker on the uh, It's probably Steve Novak or myself. You know, we talk a lot of trash. <laughs>